Hey everybody, finally video 3 on Report Manager. Alright, so it's been four weeks and I finally got a resource from Infor to go through our installation with Report Manager and figure out where all of our missing reports are. So, initially, if you remember last time, this was the screen. Um, I couldn't really do anything, and so no one could tell me why, no one could explain how to access the documents. Got a resource today. First thing they said was, is, hey, you're not an admin, and so you can't add reports. You can't look at the 800 standard reports. So I said, let's. how do we make me an admin? So we went through the exit documentation, and there's actually a setting in MNS 425 you have to create a user that's me and you have to make them a report admin just like that once you do that and then you open up report manager well I'm still not an admin but let's let's do a shutdown and reboot and see if that does the trick there we go I am an admin and so these are all the reports that are available that's what I was looking for this is what I'm talking about so let's play around with it a little bit now so the first thing this closely ties into stream serve so I don't think I've done any videos on stream serve yet but m3 does an output file so if you're running a program like CAS 530 you're going to search for the output file CAS 531 PF it takes a while to find it that was what the consultant said so once you throw in the file name see there it pops up then you drill into it, you find it, double click on it, and these blocks are straight from StreamServe. L means line. Basically, these are, I'm just double clicking on them, these are pieces of data related to the file. And you can configure and move some things over. One of the big benefits about Report Manager is you get an Excel output. So you can get a PDF and Excel output for a lot of standard reports. Let's go through the configuration settings for MRM. I'm going to go through these quickly, but of course if you need to set this up, just pause the video. MNS 100, Application Indicators, page 404, 408, Report Manager, that needs to be checked. You need to set up a user and define them as an admin. We already went through that then you need to set up output settings. So MNS 216, 217, and 218 need to be set up. I'm going to show you our configuration for it, and it's going to be pretty similar. MNS 218, MNS 217, MNS 216, and then we need to configure the actual reports. That's next. For the one report that they did a smoke test on, MNS 204 was set up and MNS 205 was set up. What's new about MNS 205 is the file type is now PDF, Excel, or both. So before we didn't have a choice. Now we can, we're, we're going to say I want this report for this particular user. Now if I left user blank I could set up a global record and it would be for everybody. In this case I'm just setting it up for my user though as I'm going through testing. And that's really the, the only setup. So I'm going to go through the process and actually set up one of these reports and see what it looks like. Okay so the report I'm going to test this out on is APS 580 purchase order receive not invoice. What I would need to do is I need to find the PF file associated to this. The easiest way to do that if if or the laziest way actually is just actually run the report and when you do it tells you the printer file right there APS 582. And you can see the service ID and all that. This is the standard stream file stream serve setup. I'm going to set this report up to work with report manager. 
So when I open up Report Manager, I'm going to search for that APS 582 PF, hit enter, and it's going to take a second. So I did a fast forward, but it took about seven or eight Mississippis to be able to pull that up. So when I drill down into it, here's the report, and here's the data. I'm going to leave it just as is, but I do have to publish the report. This allows for all the other users to have access to this. Now I need to set up the configuration files in MNS 204 and 205. MNS 204, I'm just going to copy one of these other records into my APS 582. MNS 205. MNS 205 is by user specifically for mail. I'm going to make sure it's set to both. My email is set up. And really, that's it. If I go back to Report Manager, I should be able to run the report. You can see it's now MRM port stream. I'm going to confirm the output. We're going to have to wait a few minutes to see what it looks like. If you don't want to publish the report, you can still run it with the output through the Report Manager interface. But if you want all users to be able to run it through Standard M3, then you have to set it up just like I did and then also publish the report for that to work. Again, you can see that the service ID is MRM port stream. So I ran a before and after of APS 580. If you don't have Report Manager, this is what you get out of the box. If you do have Report Manager, and it only takes a couple of minutes to set it up once it's installed, this is what you get out of the box. Excel and then also a new PDF version that looks just like the Excel version. That's the basic configuration. Um, we have training coming up in July in which then I'll do some additional videos there as well. Hey, thanks for checking out my report manager journey and make sure you catch me at Inforum this year in 2018 where I'm going to be speaking. Hey, thanks again for checking out the video.